welcome back to my channel it's your girl Kadeen Campbell Titiva live and in living true colors okay no I've ended a vlog in the same clothes because yes it's the same day and I'm just starting a new vlog so I'm just welcome you back welcoming you back here for today's video now for the night I'm just gonna wrap up do my nighttime routine eat shower eat take all this makeup off take my hair down and then I'm gonna go to my bed I have anything to do so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow I'm gonna take you guys along with me in the kitchen for a brief moment and then I'm gonna head to work which is not gonna be on camera because I'm not gonna vlog my place of work that's not professional you know yeah so I may just do little clips while I'm on my breaks and stuff but I'm not gonna do, show you what I do or whatever that's just not gonna happen so I may talk a lot in my videos because I'm not doing anything in my day to day life I'm working so I'm I have some plans for this weekend for next weekend so let me see if we can gather that together and I've decided that I'm gonna have to post every other day or every two days because I just don't do enough and I don't want my vlogs to be boring and, and drawn out so I'm just gonna do two days I've already started vlogmas I commit I tried to be committed for every day but I'm just not gonna make so much content every day so I'm gonna put two days in one so you guys are gonna have to expect that coming up soon closer down to Christmas Christmas maybe I'll post every day even if I'm not doing too much because I work I'm not even gonna celebrate Christmas the way I normally do because this year I'm working usually I would have holidays off but my job doesn't accommodate that anymore so I'm going to be working, but I'm still going to be cooking because I have to have my lit food same way. Don't play with me. Um, and I throw it down in the kitchen. I throw it down. Okay? You can catch it too. But it's lit. So you guys will see um, all of that further down in the vlogs. Right now, I'm just going to go to my bed. So I'm just um, starting the vlog so that you guys will know what's going to happen next. Because what I have planned. So... I will see you guys in the next clip, alright? Go on, big up on the snow. But I'm gonna need to sit up because it's not gonna be right now because it's YouTube time, so. In yeah, the next clip, y'all gonna see me right here, so. Right there, so playing screen. Right playing screen, girl. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Um, so, today, as I've advised in the last clip, that I will be. Um, taking guys in the kitchen with me for a little bit right now i just got up but not too long ago like probably like an hour ago drop the kids off at daycare no <laughs> bro there's a but yeah that's besides the point but i'm actually gonna go do a little bit of laundry and then i'm gonna clean up the kitchen and season up the pork so i'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that um because right after that i have to go to work so I'm still editing a vlog, which I'm about to finalize right before I start the, um, the cleaning up and stuff. Um, yeah, so I can get it over with and be done. And then try to save it and upload it to YouTube. And then start another one because the journey goes on. So I'm not going to... I'm, I'm probably going to just use my phone to vlog what I'm doing in the kitchen. If I can, then I'll use my camera, whichever. So I don't have to be touching it and stuff. So, um, yeah, let's go do that now. Yeah. Guys, I'm in the kitchen making rice and chicken. I'm kidding, kidding. Um, I'm actually uh, this up somewhere. I'm only using my ring light. So actually, I'm gonna start to show you the seasoning that I'll be using um, to get the job done. Um, these are seasons that I always use. Fresh seasoning along with powdered seasoning and sauces and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna pull you guys closer. You're not gonna see me anymore. I know you wanna see me. Yeah, I wanna see me too. <laughs> I'm kidding. But no, I'm gonna just show you guys a close up on what I will be doing. Boom bang. So come now. So gentle people, gentle people, you're going to wash your meat. See my meat over here, sir. I soaked it in vinegar and lemon. I'm gonna wash it nicely and then we're gonna wash up my sink. 
So you wash your meat, it's been soaking for a while, so it's good. And then you wash it off. It's just some pork picnic, no bone. Yes, meat and skin. Fresh pork. I want to steal pork around here. Onion stuff. This is this soap. Wash out your sink. Put some Lysol. Scrub, scrub, and wash out your sink, girl. Don't tell me about me not to wash my meat. You told Dada. Me to wash. Wash down your sink. That's all. That is all. Okay, so this is thyme. We have ginger. We have some escalion or green onion, like if you um, call it that. I have some hab habanero pepper, took from the freezer, and I have some fresh garlic, some onion. So I'm gonna chop these and put them in this magic bullet here and blend them accordingly. So this is pimento seed. Um, I. Sorry. So this is pimento seed. I use this in almost everything I cook, um, especially my Jamaican dishes. Incorporate them in other um, dishes as well, or cuisines as well. But me, me never left this. Me ever struck with this. Remember me tell you. So we're gonna wash a few. Always wash a pimento before you use it. So you put it in your hand. Me use me use as much as my ancestors tell me to use. You do the same if you want, or you can use four, six, twelve seeds, but I just use I don't really have no measurement. I wash it and drop it in there. So when I SPF, wash him off, drop him right there. Right there. So. Now you can use a little bit of all purpose, especially if you have the muggy all purpose. You can use a little in there. You can use a little in there. I actually have another all purpose that I like to use called it's a brand called Irie. Unfortunately I ran out, so I don't have enough right now. I'ma use this and this brand they don't they have products with no MSG, so with, that's a good thing. Um but this is the brand, the same brand all purpose. I put a little bit of the all purpose here because it did not finish. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in here just to give some flavor. You know? That's it. I'm not going to add no more to the seasoning. We have our blended season. Herbs and stuff. You can put parsley in it if you want the color to be a little bit more green. You can put celery in it if you want, but that's not my kind of vibe right now. Um, so my pork is dried, ready to be seasoned. So I'm gonna use a little bit of dry jerk seasoning, the brand Ivy. Um, yeah, so I use a little bit of dry jerk. Have all the nice flavors, and then I'm going to use the Irie meat tenderizer. Yeah. And we're going to put some on it. Yeah. I don't really use measurements. I would say like two teaspoons or one tablespoon if, yeah. I just use until my ancestors stop me telling the truth. 
no abnormal measurement freestyle and freestyle and yeah we shot so we just a do 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 you know this is some onion powder you know from Irie again as you can see me love Irie, Irie are the best in my opinion right now Irie and Maggie, Maggie can look a bit salt sometimes but me rock, me rock with Maggie too more while now I'm going to use a little bit of soya sauce shape it up and put a little on there color this is the really dark soya sauce then I'm going to use some fish and meat sauce Grace I want the girl with me like to she bad so I'm going to use some fish and meat sauce and we're going to go so boom bye you can use like um, a teaspoon then we're going to use a little bit of browning this is Irie again shake her up real nice this use like about half teaspoon because you don't want it too black because by cooking it and I'm boiling it because you're going to put it on boil so it's going to give it more color regardless well you can always drop two seed up in so you know but because if you don't really like it especially if you know your food for like taste and eat then I would suggest not to I don't really like it so I like to blend it so you can skip that step but I'm all about flavor so I do everything to enhance my flavors now going with the with the bad girl she walk as good you know because I said I like my pork spicy so I'm using the hot and spicy if you don't um, like spice you they have a mild flavor as well so you can get that but I'm gonna walk with and go with hot and spice things we add like a pepper you know so mix up that real nice with the spoon first I'm going to take, this is like a tablespoon, I'm going to take two tablespoons of, of jerk sauce, two tablespoons, two nice full tablespoons, I think you wanted a half tablespoon, and then we're going to just leave that right there, so, and then now we're going to put in the blend up, blend up. so we're going to wash off the spoon, now I made a lot because I want to use it throughout the week, <coughs> So I'm not going to use all of this, but you know, so we're going to use around three tablespoons. Yeah, we can just mix up that quick, quick. You see that? See the consistency? That's what you want. Everything blend up and nice. You can see the ginger here. Yeah. You know, say it shot. It smells so good. All right. So this is enough. So now we're gonna wash our hands. Usually I use a gloves, but I'm running out of gloves and I haven't gone to the store to get any. So I'm gonna wash my hand and rub that up nicely. I'm gonna rub it in. Rub in all of that. Open up she. Rub it in. That's why it's best to just add everything. But then you will know when you rub it up, you will see how it look. My mother used to my mother used to taste like the seasoning, but like me not suggest it because this is meat and it's raw and me not really like that. So me, if it's salt is also me just go with it. Me cannot taste it. That's just not me. If you can't stomach it, go right on ahead. But that is it for me. When me a cookie, if me feel like something short, then I'll add it. But um, if you know, that's that. Me not have them the stomach there. So yeah. It's not my style. Rubbing she nicely. So now we're gonna leave this for probably like a day or so if you marinate in the bottom of the fridge. If you're gonna leave it longer, you put it in a ziplock bag and you put it in the freezer for however, for however long you want. I mean, really know how long it can stay in the pot until it starts the freezer burn to be honest. But Google it if you want to find out. I don't really, I mean, I really save meat that long because. We are shape away as so we just cook and go through see it way. <clears throat> but it's good when it's stay if you look a while to marinate me not gonna lie. So you see how she pretty now? You see how she nice and go on with herself. Nice colour already and in a start cook, right? So we're gonna wipe it off or we will transfer it into a different container 
and just put it in the fridge. Come here and ask it myself. Put it in the fridge to marinate. She well nice. Well nice. She nice. Alright, so we're gonna lift she now. It's not pop because all of the juices them they are so. So I just keep she as a right off the rim. And I clean something we use, so you know. So yeah. She look nice. Stop and put some foil over it. And we're gonna drop it in the fridge. And we're gonna leave it for like a day or so. It can do longer, but that's the amount. So now I'm just gonna pause for a little bit. Then I'm gonna come and pack my lunch here on camera for work. And then we'll close out this, seg this segment. So now she's gonna go right in the fridge. I have some steppers, <laughs> some curry chicken foods and white rice I made the other day. That's what I'm taking. I have some fruits, some mangoes, grapes, strawberry. Coconut water. I drink one like almost every day. I'm gonna take a yogurt and I'm gonna fruit of choice is gonna be a banana today. I'm gonna wash my banana and wrap it up. Put it on the top. Usually, uh, really usually I blend my own fruits or juice um, like a smoothie each day. But many night vibes right now, so I have this both house farms strawberry banana drink. I have like a little bit, so I'm just gonna walk with you and fresh up, you know, fresh up my stomach. So that's all I'm gonna take for lunch today. Oh, I'm gonna bring an avocado as well with the food, resting right here, sir. Coconut water, and then we're gonna take some cutlery, some fork and spoon for the um, thingy thingy. And we're gonna wrap that and put it right here so and then we're gonna close up the bag so that's all we require for lunch today um, this is my this is Cairo's bag <laughs> but we don't have the lunch bag as yet so I'm all ready for, for work so this is the pork being cooked the moya made the pork so it's in the oven right now and then she made some plantains to go with it fried ripe plantains and she made some festival so yeah it was slap even though it didn't marinate for um, a longer time period as we planned we mashed it up because and it was so good it was so 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 good So this is where I'm going to end this vlog. Uh, I think I just showed you guys the pork that I ended up making. My roommate ended up making it um, the same day. She just put it in the oven and made some festival to go with with it. And yeah, we slap it up because it's so lit. It was so good, well marinated, well seasoned. Imagine if it had stood there for more than a, a day scrumptious delicious everything nice so yeah I'm actually on my break eating the same pork for my lunch then I'm gonna go back to work after that so this is where I'm gonna end this vlog there's nothing more that I have to vlog for now at least so I'm just ending this right now and I'll come back to you guys soon um, I may be dropping some videos in between the vlogs because bro it's hard to vlog with a boring lifestyle like mine. 
so um yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip please remember to like comment and share the video for the world to see and um subscribe to the channel because you know your support helps me a lot and i'll see you guys in my next video bye